going on? It's Bobby Skinner talking Giants. Doing a film breakdown of the Giants' newest addition, Boogie Basham, uh, defensive end, outside linebacker. For the Giants, uh, traded away from the Bills for a late pick swap in 2025. Don't know the full details right now. What he is is a solid run defender who I think has room for improvement with technical growth. As a pass rusher, he really doesn't bring much. Um, you know, he can work some power. But I do think if he embraces his role as like, a, if he kind of the way Jihad Ward has, he can carve himself out a role in the NFL. And obviously the Giants needed edge help, especially as run defenders. You know, they cut O'Shane Zimenez, but O'Shane was a really bad run defender and didn't give you much pass rush production. And I think Bo- Bo- Boogie will give you more than that. It's just not in the typical bending the edge because he doesn't do that. So let's get into it first. Like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. We got a big season coming up uh, for us. You got to be ready to go. Number 55. So we're going to go through the pass rush uh, first. And you're going to see consistently this is one of his best, but you don't see really great reps. But you see like solid reps like this, right? Like Not the best get off in the world, but solid enough. Good footwork. And you notice he tries to work hand moves. But if he just work that power, right? Get to that inside. And be a pocket pusher, right? Because there are a lot of times he starts with these hand moves that are meant to get around the corner. And he just hasn't shown to be able to do that in the NFL. Did a little bit in the preseason, which I'm not going to use preseason film versus backups. But but here, like this is what you like. Good footwork. Tries to work these hand moves that the tackle's just not playing the game with. But then, get your hands inside, work leverage, and use that power. I mean, he's a big body. He's, you know, 280 pounds at six foot three. There's a lot of power in that body. So I think he needs to do a better job at converting that, you know, power where it's just a lot more fluid, where it can look a little choppy. Where it's like you can almost see, like, mid-play. You can see it going through his head. Okay, let me turn this into power. Right? So, this is a decent hand move, right? But it's meant to get around the corner. And he just doesn't have the speed or the bend to get around that corner. But you see it. Okay. Let me transfer this in here. So, if he... You may get, you know... a affect that pass more if, it, if it's quicker to do that you know transfer of of you know trying to work around the corner to just hey i'm gonna i'm gonna push this guy's inside shoulder next play here versus the jets lined up over here good footwork now you get a hand to the face but you see him get to that inside Lined up over the right tackle. Just get inside leverage, drive the feet, push the pocket. Here versus Taylor Decker of the Rams. You see, like, he's got power to get some push on this pocket, right? But instead of doing this hezzy and this hand stuff, just just go for it. Because that's what he is. is He's going to be a pocket pusher. That's how he's going to be, you know, add to the pass rush game. Um, here over the right tackle. This was the, like the one pass rush move I did see. It's a good move. And, you know, he's got this traffic here. But you like it because it's good footwork. Like, watch the feet. One, two, three get into it, push off this foot, and you're facing the quarterback. Now, you've got this here, but that's a really nice pass rush move, even though you don't see it. You know, I saw it once from the interior, which we'll go through, which is here lined up in the interior. He can do a little more with his speed on the interior guys, but I don't see it being something he's used a ton to do. You see here, you know, swim met by the center 
here versus the Jets over the right guard. You're going to see that spin again. Feel him on your back. Ball ends up out. Tip, whatever. But good, some good stuff. Now, in the run, this is what he's being brought here to do, is defend the run. But the Giants need some run defenders as their edge depth. Some really good technical stuff here. Right? So you have this pulling guard. First, you squeeze this down. And you're going to lever, which is taking basically taking the outside shoulder, spilling, it's going for the inside shoulder. You put some power into that. Bam! You open up his shoulders. Bend, dip, and get in on there with the tackle with your defensive tackle. Just watch it in full speed. Squeeze, er, squeeze, lever, dip, help with the tackle. Here against the Jets again. You're going to see this pulling guard. This time he's going to get a guard who's over anxious. Over anxious because he doesn't want to get he doesn't want to get his shoulder popped like it did. So he's a little over anxious, which means he's going to really try and get into this. So Boogie sees that. Just step out of the way. And you're helping with a tackle. Get up, flex your muscles. Because you got in that guard's head. Here we're lined up over the right. So setting the edge. I think he can be a really good edge defender. Setting the edge. Needs to be better at it. But you do see, like, you don't see really bad reps. Like, this is solid. Get in his chest. Just pick up, you know, raise up his shoulder pads. Squeeze this down. You're lined up on the tight end. Get in the shoulder pads. Raise them up. Disengage. Get in on a tackle because you forced the back to not hit the hole he wanted to. Here we're lined up on the tight end versus uh, the Lions. Get off. Good leverage. Squeeze it down. Do your job. But again, there's not like a ton of great edge setting reps on his film. Um, and some good some good pursuit stuff, right? Good eyes for the run. We're playing the backside of this. See it. Ball's handed off. Get down. Get cross. Get in there for a tackle. See it again here versus the Jets. Same essentially the same exact thing. Read your key, play your responsibility of the quarterback, get through the mess, get through on a tackle. Here he's going to shoot inside on this. Just get out there, get pursued on the back. Lined up over the right tackle here. A good reading of this. A lot of misdirection the Lions throw at you. But you're just reading your keys. Okay. These guys are all going this way. I do not give a damn about this little fake toss. That's not my responsibility. Get in the hip. Chase it. And you're there. You're there. You're there. You're there. You're there. You've stopped it. But make the tackle. Don't miss that tackle. But yeah, I didn't see. That was the only missed tackle I saw on film from him. And a little nice bonus. Lined up on the inside. Get your hands on the ball. Pat. Find the ball. Return. Break a tackle. Man, if you got Matthew Stafford as the quarterback trying to tackle you, I'm not trying to juke him. I'm not trying to sidestep him. One, uh, just get to the corner. You'll probably win that race. But this this move ain't it, Boogie. Or if you just want to do a Chandler Jones and just fling him off you, but that's not the move we're looking for. We want we want to get to the corner. If you're even if you're going to do that move, you got to you got to widen him out, get him in more of a pursuit. This could have been six, but in reality, 
Boogie Basham, I, I'm excited. And I'd like to see him get some work with, you know, Dre Patterson or just work on his hands because I feel like if there's more urgency in his hands and more of a plan and more realization of what he is, you can get a guy who has a Jihad Ward role in the NFL, which, again, is not bringing you much pass rush value. I think he has more pass rush upside as a bull guy. He's not going to give you the speed or anything, you know, work in the corner. But overall, can do some, you know, be, be a productive player. But there also is a reason why they're doing a pick swap of late 2025 picks. So hope you guys like this. Like and subscribe. And how the Giants maybe will trade for another player. And we'll have a breakdown in a day or so. Appreciate you guys. Let's go Big Blue.